ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನಂಗ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನೋ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರ್ವಶಿ ಪಾಸಿಂದುವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಗೈತಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೆ ಪರಮಾನಂದೋ ಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾಹೋಯ್ ತುಸಿ ದೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಭರನ್ ಧೈಯ್ಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಂಚನು ತಂ ಸರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನತಪಾಲ್ಭವಾದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷು ಆದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸ್ವಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಪಾಕೋಶಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನೇತ್ತನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನೇತ್ತನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾಬುದಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರ ಕಮಲಾಶುತಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಷಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರೌ ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರೌ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ ಹರೆ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದು ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಾರ ವರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ಯವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಶ್ಚವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಭೀಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಸುರ ಸರಿದ ಉಪಕಂಠೆ ಗದ್ರುಮೆ ಗೌರ ತೀರ್ಥೆ ಬಸತಿ ಶಿಸುರವಿಕುಂಜೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪೂರ್ವಂ ವಿನಾದ 
Jugalo Charano Shaksho Seva Labha Saya Shu Brajo Raso Rasi Kaya Pada Padma Sri Atro Suro Sarid Upokante Suro Sarid Upokante Godrume Gaur Tirthe Basati Si Surabha Kunje Bhakti Purvam Binadaha Jugalo Charano Shokso Sheva Labha Saya Asho Brajo Raso Rasikaya Pada Padma Sraya Atro Gaudiya Goshtipati Sisila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Pahupad Paramahansa Jagadguru told Don't disturb me. I like to live my peaceful life. Don't disturb me. I like to maintain some privacy. What it concerns to you? I can obey you only about spiritual matter. Not. You have no experience about economical. Popa speaking, this is called passive calm. Gauriya Goshtipati, Sisila Bhakti Siddhanto, Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada, Paramahansa Jagadguru told, if somebody is going to speak this way, that don't disturb me, I like to lead my peaceful life. That means surely he has some material desire. That's why surely it is called passive calm. When passive calm is there inside our heart, in that case we cannot get satisfaction anyway. If passive calm is there inside our heart, in that case satisfaction cannot come in our life anyway. Not possible. Sila Sachidananda Bhakti Mahan Thakur told, Sila Sachidananda Bhakti Mahan Thakur told, so long as people, they have their privacy, so long as people have their personal interests, different kind of annavilas, you can go on speaking Harikata in front of them. But it cannot give any effective result. It cannot give any effective result. Sila Sachidanga Bhakti Thakur told, if there is annavilas into the heart of some so-called devotee or outside people, in that case you can go on speaking Harikatha, you can sh go on shedding your blood for the emancipation of this bonded soul. You can go on shedding blood, gallons of blood, for the emancipation of those bonded soul. But you cannot do anything. So long as different kind of annavilas, annavilas can be there. More or less annavilas can be there. But Pope Bhakti Muttaka speaking, if there is big annavilas, then aprakita harikatha cannot enter into the heart into our heart, through our oral reception, cannot enter. And if Harikatha not get entry into my heart, then how Chetadarpana Marjanam, this formula is applicable? How it is possible? That Chetadarpana Marjanam, this Harikatha is applicable? Not possible. Sri Raghunath Das Goswami told, I was not willing to take Amrita, but it was Sila Sanatan Goswami path. Endless ocean of mercy wanted to take me, catch me, open my mouth, take me lap, take little Amrita. I was reluctant. I was not ready to take Amrita. But he forcefully took me and push like one small baby, not taking you know, bitter medicine. Mother first will take in lab, push the mouth, open. After that, Raghunath Goswami is speaking. This is the mercy of Sila Sanatana Goswami Pad. So it is quite natural that bonded soul, they are against Hari Bhajan. Or maybe they are going to show Hari Bhajan, but Anna Vilas is there. That's why so many nectarian harikatha, amrita coming from heaven, I know, heaven of Galok, Vindavan, 
but still we cannot get the test. We cannot get the test. That is the main problem. Many devotees, many devotees, used to come to Guru Padma when he was 99, 100 years over. Many devotees, your godmothers also, many devotees, they used to come. They helpless. Guru Padma used to engage me in different kind of seva. I don't know why. I am not qualified. They are speaking in front of Guru Padma Maharaj. All big, big sadhu, they are, you know, our Guru Varga speaking. Always, always nectar, always aprakita amrita. Amrita is also material amrita. But Indra Maharaj enjoying. I'm, that's why aprakita amrita I speak. Because otherwise you can confuse. Amrita also available in heaven. But we are less interested to take that amrita. So, Continuously Amrita, a rain of Amrita coming in the Dham, in Prasadam, in Vaishnava Seva, Harikatha. But Maharaj, why you are not getting power? They are asking in front of Guru Pātpada. Guru Pātpada used to say, well, you think Amrita already like rain coming, but they are also, my son, there should be one pot in which you can collect Amrita. If you are going approaching without any pot, if one sadhu giving you Amrita, how you can collect? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, his avatar, some special case. Now Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gone from the material world, but still he is there, Nitya Lila. But when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came here, there was special discount, which is not applicable now. Patra patro bisharanam na kurute na sa param bhikshate deya deo vavimarsaka na hi na va kala pratiksha prabhu. That is a special case. There are no time and circumstances, what, you uh, know, caste and creed, which country, no. But now, you will have to do bhajan. Somebody going to quote this word to, to prove that it is uh, applicable for all the time. If it is applicable all the time, then why Narathamudhaku writing? Then why Narathamudhaku writing? Shadon saran lila tahate na karo hela kai mone koriya sushar If I am going to live for a long time by the blessings of you all, then I can try to explain. Narathamadagura all kirtan, you can go mad. You need not read any sastra. Only one Prem Bhakti in the guy can put. You give me permission, I can go to jungle and beg chapati from Bhajavasas and go away from this. But I will have to carry out the order of Bhakti Mutagur and Bhopa. I am their servant, I am their dog. Dog is always going to obey master. That's why I am barking all the time. Sometimes you become angry, I know. So, <clears throat> it is true when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came, long distance, one Muslim, long distance watching Mahaprabhu fall down on the ground. Long distance. All the wives of Pratabhrudra, all the wives of Pratabhrudha, when Mahaprabhu going to, you know, coming to, from Orissa, coming to Bangla, from there Mahaprabhu want, wanted to go to Vrindavan, but couldn't go. You know, Mahaprabhu going to Ramkeli, to best to keep on Rupasanathan, Jeev. There Muslim people came to help Mahaprabhu to cross the river. He cannot leave Mahaprabhu, he is crying. When Mahaprabhu is going away, that Muslim people fall down on the ground. He cannot bear the separation. In, impossible. Inconceivable. All the wives of Pratabharuddha, they are standing, uh, you know, sitting on elephants. Pratabharuddha arranged elephants, long distance. Because in front of sannyasi, those Mataji cannot come. On Nityananda Abhir Bhaktiti, again I can explain 
this tattva from different corner, then you can understand. Those who are sahajiya, those who are idiot, they like to put typical question about the marriage of Nityananda Prabhu, about the preaching of Nityananda, about the behavior. But Bhakti Thakur wanted to, you know, wanted to, you know, beat them with chapel. I can show you. This way, why Nithyananda Prabhu, according to the desire of Gaurang Mahaprabhu, was bound to marry? Why? I can explain. I cannot forget, I can remember. Now, point is that, Gaurang Mahaprabhu going to show the idealism of sannyas. Don't think that Gaurang Mahaprabhu hate all Matajis. Not that. Gaurang Mahaprabhu never hate. Gaurang Mahaprabhu loved them. But is the uh, rules and regulation Mahaprabhu wanted to so, show the idealism, what to do? Anyway, I can come to this point after. So, Narottama Thakur, our previous Gauri Acharya, is writing in Kirtan, Sadhan Saran Lila, regarding your, regarding your Sadhan, regarding your Sadhan, and regarding your Sadhan, and side by side your smaran. If I am doing harinam like like one, you know, machine, you know, robot, you know, robot can do, robot can receive you from gate, come on, come on, what you need, can speak everything. If you are doing bhajan like robot, they is useless. When you are doing harinam, especially Bhakti Thakur advising those who are bonded soul, they must do Harinam loudly. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Bhakti Mataraj. If they are going to speak Harinam this way, and remember all Harikatha, Kirtan, all different, you know, Dhamma, different places, that is more effective. Very shortly, you can cut. But nobody is going to obey what to do. So, Sadhan Bhajan, without any Smaran, has no background. Sadhan, I am doing sadhan, but the, my mind is somewhere else. There's no use. Sadhan and smaran, sadhan and smaran, interrelated. Sadhan and smaran, all interrelated. If sadhan is there, no smaran, useless. So, North Madhavu writing, sadhan, smaran, lila, Tahatena korohela kai mone kariya susar. Kai mone, by body, mind, and speech, I, you try to harmonize all your, you know, everything. With Guru Bhargava's instruction, all your previous life, present life, try to harmonize. Then you can find solution. Many times, Prabhupada used to say, those who are going to love Bhakti Mino Thakur, we cannot expect that they can go for Sahaji association. Many times, Prabhupada used to say, we cannot expect, we cannot expect even in dream, those who are loving Bhakti Mino Thakur, how it is possible for them to go for Sahaji association? Satsanga has some magic spell. In your life, if you are going to get actual satsanga, you can go mad. Yesterday I told. Even poison, without knowing it is poison, you are baskam. A small boy, very small boy, in one house, grandfather, there is so many rats, I mean mouse, grandfather took decision to go to market, to buy some nice tasty fry. Fry available now in the market. Ready-made food. Fry. Because a very tasteful, scenty, very nice scent. A point to put with poison, going to put in the room corner. So that mouse can come and bound to it. And mouse can die. In the meantime, grandfather even could not imagine in dream that my grandson can die. Small grandson, small boy. He is watching, there is a nice fry. He is going to take, must die. 
follow. In Krishnanagar, when I was a small boy of 12 years, 14, I heard one news. Night time, even at night time, they are taking all prasadam, going to sleep. In the morning time, all members of the family, they are dying. Father, mother, you know, son, daughter, all die. From police department, why? What can be the reason? Police department cannot understand. No symptom here. Finally, detective department came. They are going to check up the pot from where they took prasadam because morning time they can wash. They take took prasadam and gone to sleep. But they don't know milk, everything there. They don't know. One snack came unknowingly and touched the milk. Man, a drink. And they unknowingly, they all distribute milk among themselves. They all die at a time. At a time. So miracle. Life is so strange. If you realize one point zero zero one percent, you can go mad. If you realize the practical sarup of your life, you can go mad. One ma, one mother, one mother, young mother. She has three sons, three sons. One son, a maybe six years of old age. Another son, four four years. Another baby just took birth. I am speaking because I I like to re re relate this, you know, things. But life is unstable, you know. Theoretically, but practically you don't know. The day you can know, you can go mad. Small boy, baby, lad. One day, the middle boy and the first boy, I mean, the, they are playing. They make one murti of Kali Devi, Kali Ma. It is happening in, uh, you know, Bengal, Mirnapur, one place. Kathi. They are playing. They put one photo of Kalima. They are saying, I like, to, I like to cut your throat huh? in front of Kalima. Playing, you know. Like, you know, in front of Kalima, they are doing bully, you know? sacrifice. They are young. Elder brother speaking, you are, I am going to cut you huh? in front of Mataji and Kalima. Yes, you do. It's here, head. And the boy, in joking mood, taking one straw, one straw, and rubbing on the head. He don't know that, you know, that straw is so sharp, sha, cut the head, like knife. It is the arrangement of Kalima, I don't know. Maybe previous life something happened. Immediately blood coming out, the boy died. Mother watching from the roof, that blood coming out from the second boy. And mother was ready to arrange the bath for the baby. One pot of water is there. A lukewarm water in the roof, putting the baby in, the, in a bucket, I mean big bucket, water, lukewarm water. And then Mataji throw the baby and to jump from the, you know, from the roof. Catching baby, in the meantime, the elder boy running and coming to inform mother in up. Watching the blood, Mataji crying. In the meantime, the Mataji likes statue. Man, statue means he cannot speak anything, speechless. Only like, you know, big, big eyes and going to approach the elder boy. Elder boy thought, mother going to, mother going to beat me. He going back, going back, going back, and the roof was naked roof. The boy fall down from the elder boy die. Second boy already die. When Mataji running down, he come back. The small boy also die in the water. Already two quarter. I was shocked. That time maybe I was a student of six or seventh. I was shocked. Then I could realize this is the condition of life. But still people want to, want to, you know, foster different kind of desire. You have nothing in, 
you have nothing under your control. You have nothing in your control. Whatever desire you can do. Whatever desire you have, but you know it for sure, you have no controlling over yourself. Your mind, situation, nothing. We are controlled by Maya. I can take decision to be controlled by Guru Vaishnava. Rather, it is good. Why I like to be controlled by Mother, hey, Maya? I cannot allow. How I can allow myself to be controlled by my? There is no severity big. At least Guru Vaishnava can give something. If I lose faith, then everything lost. Property is faith. Property is bhakti. Property is love. Prem don bina bertho doridra jivan das koiri beton more deho prem don. Mahaprabhu told in Chaitanya Rujurdham. No property in my life. Mahaprabhu saying, no property in my life. But Prem Dhan is the only property. So, Prabhu, you give me Prem Dhana, I like to get property, because without property, I'm a beggar. I have seen in my life, one beggar become the owner of billions of dollars in my life. All incident I remember from my childhood. In, my, in front of my eyes, I have seen. They get lot of money, suddenly. They make big building in Calcutta. I used to go. Previously, they used to stay in a slum. Slum, you know? Slum? Slum area, very dirty. Then they buy the building. After that, again, they become, they become bigger. People, they are really crazy. If they get some kripa, in true sense, they can try to understand whole day and night. They can try to realize. One very, very rich man from England, before dying, he is going to write all his property in the name of dog. You are laughing. Practical news. I am not speaking any story. Follow. When I came to know why he is going to give all property to all billions of pounds. Writing all property, owner is dog before death. Because he has no wife, no daughter, no children, no friend, nothing. Going to give. I was down to realize, I understand. I was speaking to one man in Dalhousie, you know, Splendid Dalhousie, no? that time I was speaking there. And she is talking with my man. She speaks, Maharaj, you see, this is the news. I was laughing. He is speaking, Maharaj, he is going to write all property in the name of dog. So I was bound to pass this kind of remark. Oh, Navin Bhai, I am very, you know, how to, how is possible? I was bound to say, I was bound to say that that man going to write all property in the name of dog. Now I am thinking how, how big dog that man is who is going to write all property in the name of this dog. It's the topmost dog in human society. How big dog that man is who, who cannot find any right application, nothing, only he going to write in the name of dog. So I think he's the topmost dog. I mean, more important dog than the pet dog, in the name of which he wrote. He was laughing. So strange world. Strange world. Those psychiatrists, those scientists, the test, they say out of, if there is 800 crores of population here, practically, I say, it is a, after experiment. They say, if not more, more than 400 crore people, half the population of the whole world, somehow they are crazy. Their brain is not normal. Latest information. More or less, they are crazy. Their brain is not normal. Due to some previous, due to some previous background, in my life also, so many things I feel. So many things. 
happen. If I go on speaking, it is one kind of Mahabharata. But stable, but, but still I never wanted to lose my spirit. Never wanted to lose. So many things from childhood. So many things, incident I met. So, Srila Sachidananda Bhakti Chakur is from a very, very high family heritage. I am not going to discuss about this thing. I am going to touch. Like Rup Sanatan from South India, you know, Bharadraj Gotriyo and our Bhakti Thakur also is from South India, very high family, but Kayastho. Brahman, Khatriyo, Kayastho, Vaishya. Kayastho, Vaishya, Shudra. Hello. He was from very rich. In English period, I mean, English uh, people, uh, minimum 200 years, they wanted to dominate India. So long ago, not now, I'm speaking long ago, that time, they got land and property with them and become landlord. It was the system, I don't know. But after that, when father gone, father gone in childhood, Bhakti Muttagun, a very small boy, father gone, mother helpless. By that time, they lose all property, nothing. So poor condition. Father gone, when Bhakti Muttagun was only eight or ten years. How to maintain life? In maternal uncle, you know, maternal uncle, their house, in maternal uncle, their house, they used to uh, take their help, going to read. This way Bhakti Thakur took so much trouble. So much trouble. After that, for higher education, he was bound to go to Calcutta to do. And <coughs> some stipend, this, that, he received from... Anyway, from very childhood, he was a great devotee. Because he an eternal devotee. It is not that this life. Anyway, Bhakti Mir Thakur to, you know, received education in Calcutta, here, there, and the topmost Pandit, Pandit, according to the estimation of the material people. I, I don't like to say Pandit, because he is having vast knowledge. His name is the ocean of, his name is the ocean of learning. His name is the ocean of learning. His name is Vidya Sagar. In Bengali and Sanskrit, we can say Vidya Sagar, the ocean of learning. Vidya Sagar used to love this you know, student. When Bhakti Tagore was a student, he was the principal of that college. Hello. Vidya Sagar was not a bad man, but still bad man, in the sense that he had no devotional practice. One day Vidya Sagar, one day Vidya Sagar in the in the college, in the college, Vidya Sagar Mahasaya giving lecture. And in 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 between he is speaking, Bhagavan is formless, Bhagavan is formless, nobody can see this. Day. And Bhakti Tagore was a student that time. Young boy, student. Bhakti Tagur immediately stand up. Panditji, have you seen Bhagavan? Bhakti took asking to Vidyasagar Mahasaya. Have you seen Bhagavan? Vidyasagar said, No, I have not seen. Then, you, how you are going to pass remark? How you are going to pass remark about Bhagavan? You have seen. Vidyasagar was bound to hmm, bend his hand. I have not seen. But you have written in your book, you have written in one of your book, in one of your book you have written that is Shudo Doi. Shudo Doi, one name of the book. There you write what you don't see, what you, what you cannot feel. Vidyasagar Mahasaya wrote one book. Our Bhakti Mita was speaking. Panditji, you wrote in your book. What you cannot see, what you cannot feel, you are not going to pass any remark about that. Then, you have seen Bhagavan, so that you are going to pass. 
Vidyasagar was very shy. But still he was very happy to see the straightforwardness, to see the honesty. It was Vidyasagar who after who after watching the exceptional quality of the student, send him to Katak. Katak is one Orisha. In Katak, you know, before Jagannath Puri, you can meet Katak. Baleshwar, Katak, Bhuvaneshwar, so many. Vidyadhar Mahasa write one letter to one high official. That I know this boy, I know this, he is my student, exceptional quality. You can give one service to him. He need, he is a very needy. Bhakti Mahatma going by watching, by watching Bhakti Thakur, that time there was some British man, British official, very happy. That British official could realize uh, only this schoolmaster is not proper, proper service for this competent personality. For some days he was working as schoolmaster, headmaster, after that resign, after that so many things. He appeared in some exam, he passed, after they wanted to offer one, you know, district magistrate, deputy district minister, after that district So the quality of Bhakti Vinayataguru we cannot speak. Impossible. Quality of Bhakti Vinayataguru, Nityananda better, Nityananda Babu can speak. I cannot speak. By the order of Guru Varga and Nityananda, I am speaking something. So, Bhakti Mahatma Thakur day by day going up. No family member, nothing, so much busy all day and night. Finally, he was bound to marry Jagamohini Devi. But she died very quickly. One small baby, one, uh, very small, one or two, very small. Ten months or twelve months, Bhakti Muttagur was. How I can go to office? Who can maintain? Again, old mother is also there. He was bound to marry second time. He was bound to marry. Bhagavati Ma. Bhagavati Ma came second time. But Bhagavati Ma is Bhakti Devi. So, in Bhakti Muttagur life, Previously, there are some children, two or three. Now, this wife, there are two or three children. At the same time, total dedicated soul. Even one sannyas, big, big acharya, they cannot compare with the life of Bhakti Muttaku. How possible, you titan? How possible? He is Grihastha, service holder, so much responsibility. But he is the topmost sannyas. Bhakti Thakur is the topmost sannyas. Sinibha Satyajya is the topmost sannyas. Shivananda Sen is the topmost sannyas. Vishnu Piyadevi is the topmost sannyas. Don't disbelieve me. This is called Siddhanta. Nobody can say in the world. Vishnu Piyadevi is the topmost sannyasi. What do you mean by sannyasi? Only red cloth and taking garland and mal. You think sannyas is foolish? You have no idea about what is sannyas. You go through Gita. We are searching one perfect devotee who understands Hindi and English both, so that you can get two years, more than two years on it. All discourse of Gita. You can go mad. Whole day and night if you say, if you hear one, for next study Gata you can wait. All turns, all there. But who can do? We have no money for nothing. We are poor man. We cannot engage in it. This is the condition. In Gita, Bhagavan speaking to Arjun, Arjun, who has no desire, who has no desire in his life, who can adjust with this whole world somehow, he is actually sannyasi. He is actually sannyasi. Na kankati, no tension, no desire, no expectation, it's called sannyasi. But now, oh, I have different kind of desire, this kind of problem, hobby. 
So Bhakti Mr. Thakur is the topmost sannyasi. I can safely, safely I can say, safely. Nithyananda Babu not going to throw sannyas. Rather, I would say, Nithyananda Babu going to accept the more strict regulation of sannyas. When he was bound to marry, you know, Janna Babu Shuddha, then he was bound to accept more strict sannyas in his life. But people say he's going to leave sannyas. What do you mean by sannyas? Sannyas means a dedicated soul. Sannyas means a dedicated soul. Sannyas means a dedicated soul who is going to serve Bhagavan to the best of his possibility. Or I would say, who is going to search the complete satisfaction of Bhagavan. This kind of sannyas. Sannyas means, who is going to search the complete satisfaction of sannyas, of that Shabba Vastu. So Radharani is the topmost sannyas. We all can take sannyas from Radharani's lotus feet. We all can take sannyas from Radharani's lotus feet. We all can take sannyas from Godadar Pandit's lotus feet. We all can take sannyas from Vishnu Devi. But we are idiot. We don't understand Siddhanta Vichar. You cannot memorize Siddhanta Vichar. By, the, by Guru Shabha, by the mercy of Nityananda, all Siddhanta can appear inside your heart. Not that you can memorize and pass lecture in front of public and get clapping. Not that. So, Bhakti Mimit Thakur is the topmost sannyas. He is bound to marry again. So, after that, we are going to get Bhakti Mimit Thakur. If you calculate, I have no time to discuss. Years after years, we should discuss about Bhakti Mimit Thakur. Not that one day. You can give me two hours, not that. Not sufficient. So, if you calculate, you can see, we are grateful to Bhakti Mino Thakur for infinity period. For infinity period. Because Gauriyamad means Bhakti Mino Thakur. Gauriyamad means Bhakti Mino Thakur. Right from the beginning. Bale Gora Gadadhare. This morning Kirtan, up to the end. Whole day, whole. All Bhakti Mino Thakur. Top to bottom, Gauriyamat is equal to Bhakti Mimit Thakur. No wrong. But Gauriyamat mean? Gauriyamat mean? Prabhupada is going to explain. Chaitanya Mat, Chaitanya Mat is Chaitanya Mat himself. Don't try to criticize Chaitanya Mat. Those who are crazy people staring at present. What you can do? It is the arrangement of Jog Maya, Maya. But that we have no right to criticize Chaitanya Mat. Chaitanya Mat is equal to Purna Chetan. I mean Chaitanya Mat. Chaitanya Mat is the source of complete Chetan. The complete Chetan. I mean Chaitanya Mat. Papa speaking. And on Gauriya Mats, they are going to serve all together, they are going to serve Chaitanya Mat. Try to understand. Those Gauriya Mats, they are equal to Radharani or equal to Bhakti Mimit Thakur, we can say. They are all trying to serve Chaitanya Mahat. All Gauriya Mahat, all together, they are going to serve. Someday I can discuss. You can go mad. This high darshanic vichar is the vichar of Prabhupada. Prabhupada speaking. All Gauriya Mahats are established. They are all together jointly. They can serve Chaitanya Mahat. If, if, if you can find thousands of mat, or maybe in the name of Gauriya Mat, somebody doing something, they are totally disconnected from this Siddhanta Vichar. I can prove. I can sit in Basasan and prove one by one, like mathematics. They are totally disconnected. They have no link with Chaitanya Mat. They are lost, actually. They are Chaitanya their consciousness lost. But they want to identify the answer. So, Gauriyamat is equal to Bhakti Mimit Thakur. Wherever you go, you can find. Hare. 
from morning to night, all sastra, all vichar, all, all Bhakti Mithyatakura. If Bhakti Mithyatakura is not there, then we are blind. If Bhakti Mithyatakura is not there, we are just blind. Who can explain? You have your capacity to go through different kind of... Yesterday I was speaking, na? Jibu Goswami, Abhir So much pressure, they are labor, working. This. So I thought, yesterday I was not so I couldn't check up, because so busy, you know, contact her, yeah, they are so... I'm giving... So excuse me. Today was the Abhir Bhav, Titi of Jibu Goswami. already gone, huh? I discussed in July, I think. So, this is the condition. Bhakti Thakur, if Bhakti Thakur is not there, then we are just blind. You have your capacity to go through Sandarbha to understand, get that theme. Pure Guru Vishnu, they are so power. Their concentration due to Guru Seva. I can challenge in front of you. If you can do Guru Seva perfectly, you can grow so concentration. You can go mad. Why pure Guru Vishnu, Prabhupada, used to take, suppose some books is there. Somebody going to complain, Mara, Prabhupada, they are writing. Prabhupada, give them. Kesav Goswami After reading, very quickly. Okay, giving answer. Pure Guru Vishnu, so, why so powerful? They can go through, you can test them. You can give a big book. Within one or two days, they can finish them. You can ask question. I can give answer. How possible? Kesav Goswami used to read volumes of book on Mayavad. Kesav Goswami used to read volumes of book, which is useless for you. Even you cannot have no time to go through Jaiva Dharma, how you can read? But pure Vaishnava, they are going. Because they will to give answer, na. They will to give answer, na. That's why they... Big, big writing, they can... Okay, no problem. They are going to give answer. So you see, Bhakti Minut Thakur was so busy with his, you know, district magistrate, you know, so responsible post, doing everything, all legal action taking, this, this, no. And at the same time, he is writing Kirtan, hundreds of Kirtan. You can get time? You can get time, make up your time? Morning time you can get up seven o'clock, ten o'clock, yes, ten o'clock. Eh? Idiot. Somebody can blame me. Maharaj is going to Shambhava to hear Radhika. Why they are for 15, 20, 15 years the following they cannot accept. What I can do? I beat cart, but still they are going to follow the same rules and regulations. They cannot accept me. So how I can make how they can make spiritual improvement. They love me. I am not speaking they don't love me. But they cannot accept all rules and regulations what I speak. They cannot. That's why they cannot go up. I am not responsible. So Bhaktivinoda Thakur is equal to Gauriyamat, all Siddhanta Vijar. You have no power to go through uh, different Sanskrit words written by Rup Sanatan. You can do. Bhakti Mimit Thakur gone through everything and going to give the gist. All gist. If Jaiva Dharma is not there, if Jaiva Dharma is not there, how we can understand? This Jaiva Dharma is going to give whole idea about top to bottom. Even comparative statement with Mayabadi Isha. Oof, I can go mad. When Bhakti Mimit Thakur was that at home, he used to write so many books. Ten years boy, eleven years boy, used to write so many books. If, if, if Bhakti Thakur, if, if at all Bhakti Thakur wanted to make competition with material writer and poet, nobody could stand in front of Bhakti Thakur. But Bhakti Thakur never wanted to make any competition. Evergreen. In the whole world, he is the topmost writer, poet, topmost. Topmost. He is the seventh Goswami. Nobody can cut my Siddhanta. 
Many times Prabhupada used to say, those who are following Bhaktivinoda Thakur, those who are following Bhaktivinoda Thakur, how it is possible for them to go for Sahajiya Sangha, Asa Sangha? It's not possible. Many times Prabhupada used to shout like lion. Try to understand the basic difference between Bhaktivinoda Dara and non Bhaktivinoda Dara. Then you need not go and join a and a joint Sahajiya party. Eh? Cheater, preacher. You need not go to join a cheater, preacher party. Cheater, preacher party. They have a party. You need not go. If, at all, if you can understand the fine demarcation between Bhaktivinoda Thakur, Bhaktivinoda Dara, and non Bhaktivinoda Dara. And Bhaktivinoda Dara itself is Rupanugodara. Just from Saturday, uh, I can start Upadeshamrita in Hindi. They can try, try to explain what Bhakti Muttagu told, Popa told, Kesav Maharaj told, Bhaman Maharaj, all our Guru Bhargava told, I can. But still, you know, the Sahajiya, they are making a nice market, market all over the world. Nice market all over, very tasty market they are making. Nobody going to obey me. How many people can hear me? They want to be cheated. That's why they cheated. What I can do? They don't. Go away. So many people coming and going. They cannot digest. So try to understand. Many times Prabhupada told, try to understand, try to understand the basic difference between Bhakti Dara and Avakti Dara. This is called actual satsanga. Even language you cannot understand what Bhakti Mithra what Prabhupada meant. To understand the basic difference between Bhakti Dara and Abhakti Dara, it is called actual satsanga. You cannot understand what is satsanga. Try to realize the difference between Bhakti Dara and Abhakti Dara, this is called actual satsanga. What do you mean by satsanga? To take some puri, kachuri, sweet ball, paramana, this is satsanga. You think so, no? You will have to realize. The day you can realize, then all problems solve. In the fourteen worlds, in the fourteen worlds, even Brahma going to face some problem, Bhakti Mataur can solve. You can think me mad, not mad. If Brahma going to face any problem, Bhakti Mataur can solve this problem very easily. I am not making any story. Bhakti Tagur used to come from job, take bath, after that used to, you know, take some snack, I mean light process, but whole life. Bhakti Mahatagur used to take milk, this much milk, three times. No prasadam. No time. Bhakti Tagur used to take some snack. After that, if some people are there, they used to discuss, going to meet him. After that, uh, around 8 o'clock, 8.30, 9 o'clock, he used to go to bed for one or two hours. After that, when you are sleeping, Bhakti Mahatma was sitting, whole night. Hello. Whole night. Doing Harinam. Hello. That's why in Gita it is written, when everybody is sleeping, about all material topics, about all material topics, those material people, they are very, very, very alert. Whereas the sadhu, they are less interested. Money gone, still money. Okay, no problem. They have no tension because they don't know Bhagavan is going to take responsibility. Follow. That's why in Gita, Bhagavan speaking that. When those sadhus, they are alert about spiritual development, all material people, they are enjoying. They are enjoying. Whereas, about material profit and loss account, they are very alert. On those topics, the sadhu, they are almost indifferent. Follow. There is a symptom of sadhu. 
Not that one big help like elephant, ah, it's a big help. Sadhu, not that. Sadhu cannot be known, cannot be known by an elephant-like body. Ah, big garland, ah, it's big. not there. I can show you, Ramanuja Charjo used to respect, you know, someday I can, one by one. One cripple, one cripple, boy, Ramanuja Charjo could realize this is a great sadhu in parampara. Before Ramanujajyo, I can speak about him. He used to sit in, you know, in a cavity, in a cavity of tree, he used to say. Like, cannot speak. But Ramanujajyo could realize the great sadhu. He is making a drama. Dibba Shuri. So not a matter of joke. If you look at sadhu, Ah, it's a great, nice health, can sweet nicely, can speak nicely. So he's a great sadhu. This is your estimation. Sadhu, you cannot make a measurement. I can measure what a great sadhu is. If I can measure my Guru Padma, if I can express some estimation about my Guru Padma, surely he is not my Guru Padma. But Gurudev can never be estimated. Estimation is procedure is not possible. I cannot measure my Guru. How long, how uh, white or black, how much education there, according to that, how much foreign trip is there. So I can, over, ah, then, ah, now I can take Diksha from that sadhu. Where is a foreign devotee, so many, you know, thousands. So I can go. There is the estimation. So Mayadevi laughing, Mayadevi went to chat them. So Bhaktivinoda Thakur used to sleep two hours after that sitting all night doing. One day Bhaktivinoda Thakur, somebody is going to call Bhaktivinoda Thakur. Thakur, get up, get, you know, please, you know, please get up. Uh, some going to speak something. Bhaktivinoda Thakur, get up and speaking, why you disturb me? Well, why? Because I was there in heaven. There was some problem. Indra Maharaj and all demigods, there was some problem. They called me there to pass some judgment about this problem. I was there solving. You call me and disturb me? Bhaktivinoda speaking. I was there in heaven. They called me, they invited me in heaven. I was there in heaven. So, you disturb me. Externally, you cannot find any tilak, mala, anything. And Bhaktivinoda Thakur is a great devotee. Not great devotee, he is the eternal person of Radharani. But still, outside people, they cannot understand he is a great devotee. They used to express, you know, doubt about it. Eh? No tilak, no mala, no harina. Yeah. Speaking Harikata, who is going to hear? One Greek Sarubdas Baba. He used to pass this kind of remark. Immediately after some, some day, he used to catch the lotus feet of Bhagavan Thakur. Please excuse me. I couldn't realize your position. I passed this kind of, so please excuse me. You have no mala, no tilak, nothing. So I couldn't realize that you are a great devotee of Jagannath. Then Bhagavan Thakur laughing. Really so? Still today I am searching one Sadguru. I cannot get. So that's why I have no Harinam Mala. I am doing Harinam. But actually Mala, no Guru is giving me. Follow. Bhakti Mata is speaking this way. After that, Bhakti Mata is going to accept one Guru who became Sahajiya later on. I don't like to name. People, those who are Sahajiya, they, they are always busy. They are always busy to make a link with Bhakti Thakur, because Bhakti Thakur took Diksha externally. Externally, he took Diksha from that group. That those uh, Bhakti Thakur took Diksha in our line. I say, foolish number one. Who did Bhakti Thakur eternal person? Taking Diksha, not taking this is not a big matter. Eternal person. Prabhupada is going to take Diksha from Gaurkishwar Babaji. Or Gaurkishwar Babaji is going to take Diksha from Prabhupada. Who is going to dig dig? 
Mahaprabhu going to take Diksha from Keshav Bharati or Mahaprabhu giving Diksha to Keshav Bharati. But according to a realization, you can, according to a realization power, consciousness level, you can realize. Otherwise, all false people. Bhakti Thakur need not take any initiation from him. Eh? Rather than he took, Dishi, took uh, Diksha from whom? Lalita Vishaka from whom? They don't understand. Only logical interpretation. So, one day, he was from Bangladesh, I don't like to name, that's why it was uh, undivided India. He came in front of Bhakti Mahatma Thakur, Bhakti Mahatma Thakur took Diksha, but later on life, he became Sahaji. I don't like to name. One day, that Gurudev, that Gurudev, wanted to wanted to give you know, put his lotus feet on the head of Bhakti Mahatma One day, that Guru wanted to put his lotus feet on the head of Bhakti Mahatma And by chance, that five years boy, Bhimalapasha Saraswati, Prabhupada was there. Five years boy. He is watching that Gurudev calling, you come. Kedanath, you come. I can give my lotus feet on your head. That five years boy become fire. That five years boy become fire. You think, you think you have a capacity. You think if you, you think if, you think you have your capacity to put your leg on Bhakti Thakur? You think so? That Guru was so strong. You think you have your capacity to put your leg on this Mahapurush, the exalted devotee Bhagavad Nijajan? The Guru was so five years boy. How dare you are going to put your leg on him? That day we could realize. We are grateful to Bhakti Minut Thakur. Kauranga Mahapu is ever grateful to go, ever grateful to Bhakti Minut Thakur. Kauranga Mahapu is ever grateful to Gorgishar Babaji Maharaj. Ever grateful. Because we are getting everything by the mercy of Bhakti Minut Thakur. If you ignore Bhakti Minut Thakur, you are going to lose, get lost. Gurudam Granthadam Namadam Dhamadam Muda Bhakti dam bhuri dam bande bhakti binatakam sada. Guru dam, we are getting our guru, mane paupat, guru, jagat guru. Guru dam, kantho dam. Guru is going to give guru to us, otherwise we are blind. Grant all books, countless books, to represent the Baba of Gaurang Mapu. In written form, I mean the teachings of Gorang Mapu, we can get exactly by the help of Bhakti Thakur's writing. So, Guru Dham, Grantho Dham, Namadam, Harinam, how you can do Harinam, what is, the, what is the position of Harinam, all explanation done by. If I go on speaking some books, and if you take trouble to go through those books, by the mercy of Guru Vaishnava, I can put challenge in the whole world. No father can cheat you. You know the gravity of the small books? You know? Now, Harinam Chintamani? Small books. You know the gravity of Bhajan Rasa? You know the gravity of Chaitanya Sikshamrita? You know the gravity of Mahaprabhu Siksha? You know? You know the gravity of Tatta Vivek? Tatta Vivek, you know? Oh my God, I like to tear up my head. How possible? Jaiva Dharma. So, even Bhakti Thakur was a small boy, 10 years, 12 years, he to write so many books. Prem Padip. So many books. Now nobody can understand. Oh my God. Oh my God, how to explain? Everything was going to Guru Dham, Gantha Dham, Nama Dham, Dhamma Dham Muda, even the Dham. We call Bhakti Minutha Nodiya Prakash. 
we call Bhakti Murti nickname, nickname. Nickname of Bhakti Murti Thakur Nadia Prakash. Because by the help of Bhakti Murti Thakur, we came to know the gravity of this Dham. Dham wanted to express himself in front of Bhakti Murti Thakur. When Bhakti Murti Thakur doing Sananda Sukhata Gunjo, whole night Harinam, whole night Harinam. He watching, there is too much effulgence. Oh, where from? But I gone to that place, that side of river, uh, my, my, Miyapur. That time the name of Mayapur was Miyapur, because Muslim dominated area. Miyapur. After that it was changed Mayapur. Mayapur is eternally present. Mayapur eternally present. But stay purposely, they changed the name. Miyapur. Because Muslim dominated area. After that, Bhakti Mantra changed. Mayapur. Bhakti Mantra gone there to search. There is only bamboo trees, nothing there. But I find uh, too much effulgence just here. He is asking, consulting with old Muslim people. What is this? I saw some light here. Effulgence, how possible? The old man, Muslim people speaking, that actually, this is a strange place. Those Muslim old man, they are speaking in front of Bhakti Mata. It is a strange place. Well, why? We, are, we, try, we tried our best to cultivate that land, to grow some sabji, this, but nothing. Only tulsi. Muslim people, there is a strange place. We cultivate so many things, but nothing happened. But only tulsi. Then Bhakti Tagore could realize something happened. Then in the meantime, our Jagannath Babaji Maharaj crossing the river, coming to this. Uh, go Rabirva place and dancing. 125 years, but dancing like an Olympic man. 125 years, come on. 125 years. But when he's dancing, it's like an Olympic man. Ha, ha. He could discover. He identified. Bhakti Mata already, already could realize, but Jagannath Dasbhajima is going to identify. It's a Abhirbha place. Bhakti Mataur already realized. So Nadia Prakash means whole Nadia. Whole Nadia. As the glories of Nadia is due to Bhakti Mataur. Bhakti Mataur had a very nice relationship with British people. They used to honor Bhakti Mataur because of his extraordinary intelligentsia. So much learned, so intelligent. British government used to engage him in different, uh, uh, in solving different problems. So naturally, those British people used to honor Bhakti Mataka very much. In between, he got the chance to, uh, you know, take care of whole Jagannath temple. Whole Jagannath temple. Follow. I like to speak so many things, but time cannot permit what I can. Every day, Bhakti Mata was coming after the you know, duty, is entering to Jagannath temple, watching everything, and sitting in a very nice place. You know the lotus feet of Gauranga Mahapu there? Just there, Bhakti Mata can sit, and all devotees can come. They can discuss Bhagavatam, do Kirtan, still today. Still today. At present also, all Uriya, Pandit, they are all coming around 6, 6.30, 7 o'clock. Many times I enter temple, I don't like to talk with anybody. I am so crazy man, when I am doing you know, Vrindavan forest parikram, I do Govardhan, I don't talk. I only look at down, because I get enjoyment. I know, I look one important uh, sannyasi or one man. I like to hide myself because can start talking. I sit with a, like a beggar in a very solitary place. Stone is there. I do enjoy and kirtan. Still today, cutting kirtan going. So, Bhaktivinoda Tagore, Bhaktivinoda Tagore in his life history, biography, autobiography, he wrote. I don't know why I love this sweet dal so much. I also. I also love, I also like that 
sweet dal, you know, sweet dal, arad dal, you know, na? sweet dal. I don't know why I love. If you give me dal, one kg, I cannot take prasad little, but I cannot take one kg. I love so much. My Guru Maharaj also. In old age, used to take dal. In old age, hundred years old, Guru Maharaj used to take dal. I used to see that picture is there inside my heart. How lovely. Bhakti Mata was speaking every day, when I enter the temple, I don't know who coming and giving me sweet dal. Bhakti Mata in life history speaking, I like sweet dal, but I don't know. When I enter the temple, immediately somebody coming and give me, giving me sweet dal. Every day. Not one day. Not occasionally. Every day. Can come and give sweet dal. I take the sweet dal, take sweet dal. Then after that, I wash my mouth and sit for Kirtan. So, Bhakti Mirat Thakur means strange. Bhakti Mirat Thakur, what we can say? <clears throat> Bhakti Mirat was speaking, one, uh, his name is very nice, you know, Babaji Maharaj. Bhakti Mirat Thakur writing his book, he used to do Kirtan uh, whole day. He can do Harinam and in the evening time, Seven o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock. Up to that, he Babaji Maharaj can come outside and sit in the veranda. All devotees can come and pay dandavat. Bhakti Thakur speaking. I also used to go to him to pay dandavat, and many devotees they used to collect some Jagannath Prasadam. Follow. Jagannath Prasadam. They used to give to Babaji Maharaj little. So that was his prasadam. He has no time to cook. He used to get. Many devotees coming. Many devotees used to come and give little, little prasadam. Pavaji Maharaj used to take some prasadam, the rest used to distribute among devotees. I can remember that time Bhakti Vallabh Tithu Goswami Maharaj was there. Very uh, nice health. Follow. Previous day, there was a big festival of Mahaprasadam. Big festival. We took uh, Jagannath Prasadam. And next day, and uh, Gundicha Mandir, Nebhais Prasadam, and that many, many items overflowing. Even after taking thousands of people, there are so many extra Prasadam. And I am supposed to go to catch the rope of Jagannath. At that time, my health was also not bad. Then some devotee saying, Ma, you like to take an uh, Parval, Parval. Jagannath Prasada and before, you know, Chaturmasa. That time Chaturmasa not started. They used to say so much. I say, You give me? I started taking Patal, you know, Parval, you know. So nice. After that, I go. There is three or four cordon, cordon, you know, barricade. How I penetrate and go in front of Jagannath. Nobody can check me. If I put you in the in a you know congestion, you can die. Slight disbalance, you can fall down, and thousands of people can kill you. Follow. So Bhakti Tagore used to go there. Bhakti Tagore also used to stay and you know, to sit Jagannath Ballab Udan to discuss Bhagavatam everything. It was by the mercy of Bhakti Tagore whole arrangement of Jagannath Seva was very punctual to the point and punctual, very. Because government gives the responsibility. Bhakti Mata would take control, oh, you can do this way. Sila Sachidananda Sachidan, Bhakti Mata is the only personality. By the help of few, now at present we see countless preaching going on. Bhakti Mata was the first personality. Bhakti Mirat Thakur was the first personality to preach Gauranga Darshan, Gauranga Shiksha in front of foreign people. He was the only personality. Bhakti Mirat Thakur was the only personality who started preaching of Gauranga Darshan, Gauranga Shiksha in front of foreign public. Gauranga Mahapu used to, our Bhakti Mirat Thakur used to speak in different language. Bengali, English, Bengali, English, Hindi, Uriya, eh? Uriya, Uriya language also, and also 
uh, Urdu, Sparsi, used to speak. Yeah. Uriya, I, I can speak with Uriya people, but I don't pass any lecture. There can be some grammatical mistake. But Uriya people say, your Uriya is very good, Maharaj. But still, I don't take <laughs> Follow. Sanskrit. So, Bhaktivedi used to speak in six, seven, eight language. Continuously. He used to speak. And Bhaktivedi talking English was so nice. Even after 250 years, if you read the book of Bhakti Murtagur, you can think it is modern English. So easy representation. You can go through any writing of Bhakti Murtagur, because it's so easy. You can think it is modern English. So nice. So Bhakti Murtagur is the only personality uh, who took trouble to preach Gauranga Darshan, Gauranga Shiksha in front of all foreign devotees. He is the first man. Follow. On those days, all important personalities, on those days, all important personalities, they all used to come to meet Bhakti Thakur. All, they used to come to Bhakti Thakur. How he can make up time? Bhakti Murtagu never wanted to make any compromise. But the Sahaji are saying, well, Bhakti Murtagu is in our link, our parampara link, fully serious. Bhakti Murtagu, no. Bhakti Murtagu never wanted to make any compromise in Sahaji. Rather, I already told you, you rather, he used to strike. No. Some very important personality in this society. He is not a uh, so, uh, sadhu. He used to advise Bhakti Murtagur, Thakur, Thakur, what wrong in it? Let people come. He is going to advise Bhakti Murtagur, Thakur, Thakur, what problem in it? All Sahaja, everybody can come. Let them come. According to their you know, position and rank. So, according to the formula of survival of the fittest, somebody can stay. Uh, stability, somebody can get and rest can go away. Somebody is suggesting to Bhakti Murtagur, Thakur, Thakur, we can allow everybody. They can all come in Gauranga Bhajan and survival of the fittest. Somebody can stay and the rest can go. Bhakti Murtagur said, no, we cannot allow everybody to enter because there will be contamination. One most vital point I like to discuss before ending I don't like to end, but I will have to stop. <clears throat> Bhakti Minut Thakur wanted to give full protection. If you like to get total intact teachings of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, you will have to come in front of Bhakti Minut Thakur and Prabhupada. In front of Bhakti Minut Thakur and Prabhupada, you are, you are bound to come. If you like to get the teachings of Mahaprabhu intact way, there is no other way, no alternative. Follow. So, actually, Bhakti, somebody is speaking, very important person, some spir uh, not spiritual figure, an important person in the society. He is suggesting, uh, Thakur, we can allow anybody. What wrong is it? They can survive. If they can survive, they can stay. If they are not survive, they can go. Bhakti Mahatma no. No, we cannot allow those idiot people. We cannot allow those Sahaja people to get entry into Gauriya Bhajan. All people like to ignore Bhakti Minut Thakur. All people I can touch. All, most of the people. They like to ignore Bhakti Minut Thakur. That is the painful situation. That is why the painful situation we meet today. That is why. The painful situation we meet today, because they are all violent. You go there, all Sahajiya. Jai Bhakti Mir Chakur, Jai Bhakti Mir Chakur. You see, look their personal life, you go there, they arrange a big festival on behalf of Saraswati. Follow, this is the condition. Bhakti Mir Chakur said, no, I cannot allow everybody to get entry into Gauri Vajan. 
If they are qualified, they bring in. Qualified means on minimum submission. Maybe no quality, but submission is there. If submission is there, all other qualities of Guru Vaishnava can enter into me. It's quite natural. So Bhakti Mahatma said, no, we cannot allow. Each and everybody to get in. Then there, there you can discover contamination. Nam Hatta. Nam Hatta, na? Bhakti Mahatma Thakur identified himself as a sweeper of Nam Hatta. Nityananda Prabhu, by the desire of Gauranga, wanted to open one open market there. Bhakti Mahatma writing Gita. There. Yeah. Nityananda Prabhu opened one market. And in market, big, big Mahajan, like Bhakti Mahatma Thakur, Prabhupada, they can go and take, you know, the keep up Nama and distribute among people. Follow. You don't understand. In a market, if you go early in the morning, you can get fresh sabji and flower or you know, fruits very early. If you go 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, all, you know, all people taken away and the rest, you know, not good quality you can get. Follow. So, Nithyananda Prabhu going to open uh, the market of Harinam. And Bhakti Mantagur wanted to identify himself as a sweeper of Namato. Any garbage coming, I can take a boon and throw away out of the area of this marketplace, Harinam market. Nam Hatta. Eh? One boon. Boon means Harikatha, Siddhanta, Bichar, Acharan is the, can act as a boon. I can throw all Sahajiya, useless garbage from this area, but all over the world. Everybody dancing, naked dancing going on in the name of you know, Bhakti Vinodara, this, that, they can do. Naked dancing, even no cloth. There is a condition of Bhakti Vinodara. But Bhakti Vinodara can never be strings. Somehow, Bhakti Vinodara can survive, and it is the advice of Prabhupada in your daily life. It is the advice of Prabhupada in your daily life, in your daily life, Bhajan life. You try to maintain Bhakti Minut Dara. Try to allow Bhakti Minut Dara to touch your heart and flow to other heart, another heart. In your daily bhajan life, you try to make it sure the flow of Bhakti Minut Dara in your life. If you are sure, you are already taking bath, taking bath in Bhakti Minut Dara, then you can help other people to take bath in Bhakti Minut If yourself, and no scope, then how you can? That is the place. Bhakti Mataka writing one kirtan. Eh? No diya godrume nitananda mahajan patiyache nam hatto jive rokaran. So nice kirtan. You can go mad, so nice. No diya godrume nitananda mahajan. Patiyache nam hato jive ro karan. Shodhavano jan he, shodhavano jan. Eh, those who have sadhya, we invite them, you can come and buy. Oh, what is the price? Price is sadhya. No sadhya, then muskil. You can buy. They, they are ready to sell to you. But what is the price? Sadhya. Follow. So nice. Amrita, you idiot. You are in the ocean of Amrita, you idiot number one. Cannot discover yourself, you are in the ocean of Amrita. You like to go away from lap and you like to jump into the ocean of poison. But I can, how I can save you? How I can save you? Not possible for me. The purification, maintenance, Maintain purification, maintenance, and protection. Important maintenance may protection also as a main duty of our Gauri or Guru Varga. If Keshav Goswami Maharaj is not going to give protection to Namhatta, if Parambi Siddhar Goswami Maharaj is not going to give protection to his Namhatta, if Bhakti Mahatma Prabhupada is not going to give protection to Namhatta, 
then you can discover all garbage can come. Just for one month or two months, you lock this room, no arikata, nothing. You can, the spider can come, this uh, mouse can come, all dirty. Quite right. So this is your duty. This is your duty. This is my duty. Under the guidance of Bhakti Tagore, I always try to clean my Nam Hatta. I mean, where I am speaking. Limited people, I can allow them to hear Harikatha. One people, if they can understand, they are equal to thousands of people in the market. That's why you never make any compromise with quality and quantity. If you like to make any compromise with quality, then you cannot get. If you want to make compromise with quantity, you cannot get quality. It's compromise. So I never wanted. So Bhakti Vinod Thakur is the topmost, you know, Gaur Parshat. Bhakti Vinod Thakur is the topmost Gaur Parshat. Seventh Goswami, seventh. How, who always wanted to give full protection to Namhatta? Wanted to give protection to Namhatta. If Namhatta is not protected, then you can get some green banana. Those market people, no? they are preaching, they can give you green banana. One, one green banana, after Harikata is over, they can give, they can go. This is there written in your log, well, how I can do? If it is written there in your log, how I can cut and burn your log? It is written there, go and check. You can go and check. One, one green banana. Follow. So, we are ever grateful to Bhakti Thakur and Prabhupada. Many things I like to explain. Before living body, before living body, Bhakti Thakur was very was expressing deep concern about the present situation of this bhajan field. So I am going to publish very quickly. So many articles, very, very nice. All articles very good, but still some. Which we like to circulate all over the world. Then they can understand who is Bhakti Thakur. They can understand. Satsangir Pranali Vichar, the procedure of Satsanga, Sadhujana Sangha, how to get Satsanga, how to eh, how to avoid a Satsanga, all different different articles, Bhakti Mutagar. You can go mad. Those who are in renounce order, their character should be very good. If they are not going to maintain idealism, then all other society can go to hell. When you are entering to bhajan field, you should show your idealism. Sometime Guru Vaishnava is not going to, you know, not going to you know, attack you directly. Follow. I can give example tomorrow. Guru Vaishnava is so clever, externally they don't like to fight with them. But from heart they want, they can come up in bhajan, Realization, this, that, they want. Follow. They be here. Okay, some seva they are doing. Tomorrow they can develop their concern. Again they can go. If I now going to throw them, the where they can go? <coughs> Mahaprabhu, I can say tomorrow, in the Leela of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you can find. You can think, Mahaprabhu speaking lie. No. Martin not speaking lie. I can give example tomorrow. Hello. In Kartik Brata, I am, you know, silent, only speaking Harikatha Kirtan. If some Mataji, out of love, coming to, coming with so much sweet and puri, kachuri, can I take? It's possible? It's not possible. I cannot show love to him, her, as a disciple of Bhaman Goswami in Siliguri. Coming with so much puri, kachuri, he, she, cook herself and bring the plate and you must give to Baba. But the gate man is there, I mean, one Prabhu, he say, Maharaj cannot meet anybody now. No. So you can put, you can give, yeah? Maharaj, yeah, can give. When that devotee offered, Maharaj is coming, that Mataji coming, I so, said, my son, I cannot take, it's not possible, Kartik Bhattva, Harikatha going on three times, two, three times. I speak Harikatha, when do bhajan, again come Harikatha, again I stop, even in winter, how I can take. So you bring the plate, 
He brings the plate. I take the plate in hand. I take the smell. And according to Shastra, I have taken prasadam. According to Shastra, I am not liar. When Mataji coming, you give. But, ah, Baba took. Because I am not speaking lie. Because according to Shastra, Granam Ardhabhajanam. That is why Jagannath Panda, they begin to close their nose. What they are cooking, smell should not go. The smell going on, today's Chana Rasa, then Jagannath not going to take. You already taken. Smell means Ardhabhajanam. Granam Ardhabhajanam. Half, half, half bhojan already done. So I am not speaking lie. People can say Mara speaking lie. Similarly, I can give example tomorrow. Sometimes they like to take some undue advantage. One Vaishnava in such a position, they are bound to glorify somebody. And they like to take undue advantage of that. Tomorrow I can explain. Tomorrow I can explain. How you can understand that a Vaishnava from heart going to glorify somebody or going to cheat him. Luckily, I have that kind of environment is not there with me. That's why always I have the scope to speak absolute truth. Because I don't care anybody, no group. This way, protection given by Bhakti Thakur, protection given by Bhakti Thakur, is the topmost protection. Even 200 years back, Bhakti Mutta used to cry express concern. Because sadhu, those who are pure sadhu, like Bhakti Thakur, they can see past, present and future. A sadhu can see your past, present and future. They can see. Accordingly, they are going to give medicine. Now it's up to you. You can take medicine or throw medicine. They can see past, present and future. And you are crying, I am in position, this position. I know, but you don't know in the background of past, present and future. Many times before I saw them. In the background of past, present and future, the emotion you are going to show in the name of pain and pleasure, insult, honor, no background. In the background of past, present and future time, in the background of past, present and future time, there is no stability of your emotion. Oh, nobody loved me. What you can do with this love? I can remember the love of my Guru Maharaj. My father used to beat me heavily because I was busy with football game. But he always used to beat me. Mother also. But I remember the love of my Guru Maharaj. I cannot never forget. He used to take me here, my head, my mats on, my mats on is to, that I can remember. That's why my life and soul is sold unto the root of speed of Bhakti Bhavad Purikasi Maharaj and Prabhupada. Automatically, it is sold. So Guru Vaishnav never like to put pressure on you. You will have to show submission. I am not Hitler. I am not Hitler and Napoleon. I have to show submission, not that. It's up to you. If you love me, if you think something in me, okay. Or if you don't like to, okay, you can go. But it's a question of your own benefit, not the question of the benefit of Guru Vaishnava. You are giving something, you love Guru Vaishnava, not that you are going to deliver Guru Vaishnava. We are doing Guru Shabha, Vaishnava Seva for our own benefit. We think we are going to, we are giving some, oh, I give so much donation. One of my godbrother giving nine crores of rupees for making one Samadhi Mandir here. Nine crores. Previously he was in other society, three consecutive Acharya. Three. First Acharya fall down, second Acharya fall down, third Acharya fall down. Finally he was crying, almost suicide. After that he got the information of Bhakti Purikusha, he came. I don't like to speak God, brother, the, that, the, because this is a very cheap word. To make you understand and speak. Nobody hear from my mouth, there is God, sister, God, brother, his neighbor. God, brother is okay, by his character, by his behavior, by Siddhanta Vichar, automatically it can food. I can give honor. 
those who are actually serving Gurudev, automatically I can serve them. But those who are in the name of Guru Shiva, those who wanted to make a business with my Guru Marga, Gurudev, I can never excuse them. Whole world they can make full of whole world. But I know they wanted to serve Guru Pad Padma to make some business. Have some business to you. I can do seva. Tomorrow I can give. I cannot remember in my whole life when I took out, when I took one rupee from my Guru Maharaj. Whole life I cannot remember. One rupee from my Guru Maharaj. Guru Maharaj give me some money. I never took. But still I am maintaining myself. All done by Guru Pad Padma. He gone from my and from our visible area, but still Guru Maharaj is there. You can see. The day you can discover always Guru Bharga, Bhakti Mutta, Guru Prabhupada all around you, then it is, this is your success. If you feel alone, that is your bhajan is not perfect. When you can feel, because pure Vaishnava, they always try to, like Prabhupada, they are doing Harikatha this all the time, writing so many things. But always Guru Bharga, they can discover Guru Bharga around me. All Guru Bharga around me. How I can feel weak? Guru Bhargo there with me. I can realize. Many times it happens so. When I when some devotees jointly make one library for me, then one some idiot wanted to attack me. Unnecessarily. I've done nothing. All legally. Very small. Then I run to Bhakti. They uh, party, party, party man, you know, political party man, they call. I was very. I gone to Bhakti Thakur, make four parikram and speak in front of Bhakti Thakur. In front of Bhakti Thakur, I speak. But I speak, Thakur, you know I am going to do your seva. It is not my personality. If you like, I can make library, otherwise, halfway I can go away to Bindav. Immediately the problem is solved. I pray to Bhakti Mithagur. Four parikram, I go, pay and come back. Problem fall. The last day that demon came now, wanted to, you know, take the Goshal. That day also. He want to spend money like mad to a village man so that they can attack me. Finally, go to Bhakti Mithagur, make four parikram and go to Goshala. I was successful. He was bound to go out of it. Otherwise, he told, my dead body can go out from Goshala. He cannot allow me to go. But he is speaking Bhagavan. He is so idiot, going to here and there, Sambhava is Bhagavan. I say, hey, I can provide idiot. Who told you to speak? He is speaking. But after that, he want to make business with me. I never ask money from him. Forcefully. Give something, and now. Then we open all, all, all document and prove that this is the status. Then village must say, you know, Maharaj repeatedly told, you give all your money to your wife and uh, you know, brother and son, all, and you come to me single-handed. So long as money power is there, you cannot come to me. You cannot show submission. In front of public, I told. They held one big meeting. I openly speak. You ask him, I told him to come pre-hand. I can arrange his prasadam, everything, but he forcefully wanted to take control over Gosala out of his man, money power. If I am running for money power, nobody can make any competition with me. If I am running for money power to cheat you all, nobody can make competition with me. But I never run. I never. You cannot believe. Those who are staying one or two, they are watching me, you can ask them. What to do? There is a situation so nobody interested to nobody interested to you know this you know purify this situation they can observe abir bhakti tiya bhakti mithakur but if i ask them you, you touch salagram you touch nishinga dev you can develop leprosy in your hand you touch speak you love bhakti mithakur you want you want to implement all the teachings of Bhakti Thakur? You want to implement? You want to see? You want to see all rules and regulations? Eh? In, you know, 
You want to see all rules and regulations spoken by Bhakti Mahatma Thakur? You like? You don't like. But you like to take some prasadam there, some shouting, that you can do. This is all love for Guru Bhargava. Freedom fighter can give whole life for motherland. We are not ready to give anything, submission even. What to speak about life? We are ready to, many body can speak this way. But who is true? We are speaking false philosophy. One Siddhanta Vichara I can speak. Very important Siddhanta Vichara. That nice Siddhanta Vichara, somebody can memorize. Our Guru Bhargava giving the Siddhanta, some Sahajiya can memorize Siddhanta. Some Sahajiya can memorize Siddhanta. He can also speak. So what is the document, Maharaj? He is in the line of Bhakti Thakur or not? Eh? I say you are foolish number one. Well, why? They can speak Siddhanta Vichara Bhakti Thakur. Okay. But let them speak on. Let them go on speaking. One pure devotee immediately can arrest you idiot, you are Sahaja. Because how long they can make some drama? Try to understand. How long they can make a drama that they are following Bhakti Mantra? I know the whole world can attack me. But I can open all the writings of Bhakti Mantra and so that Sahaja Pracharak, he wanted to enjoy name and fame all over the world, but he is Sahaja. I'm not speaking. Big, big Acharya also told. My Guru Maharaj. So many. I can give documents. They're speaking in Sahaja. He's not following Guru Varga. But whole world going to follow him. I cannot fight with them. So how long you can make drama? How long you can make drama with me? Someday I can arrest you, na? One Harikatha, one writing if you show me. One writing, one word. I can see one line, I can say he's Sahaja. So much sensitivity will have to develop. After hearing that, he got one line, I can say, Sajya. He is not in line with Prabhupada. I can say, with guarantee, with, you know, scared threat, he is not in line with Prabhupada. So much sensitivity will have to develop. But they can go on cheating people. Some people ask him, Maharaj, they can prove, okay. They can try to put, prove that they are in the line of Bhakti Mata. But someday, one or two days, three days, five days, I can catch them, they are Sahaja. Not a matter of joke. So, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, gone, mean we are helpless. But still, we are staying with Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Bhakti Vinod Thakur gone nowhere. Bhakti Vinod Thakur is there with us in the form of books and Siddhanta Bija and everything. Bhakti Vinod Thakur is not a sack of flesh and blood. Bhakti Vinod Thakur is not a sack of blood and flesh. So that I can say, Bhakti Mahatma go. Bhakti is there. Bhakti is there, always to watch me. Bhakti is watching me. Bhakti is there. So, at the last moment, when Bhakti Mahatma wanted to do bhajan in Sananda Sukhita, you know, Sananda Surabhikunja, Bhakti Mahatma used to shed tears all day and night, closing eyes, not looking to anybody. In bhajan kutir with mala, Sitting, Bhakti Mahatma, the pose is there. You used to sit there. Bhakti Mahatma, you sit this way and do Harina. Whole day and night shedding tears. Because a feeling of tremendous, burning feeling of Vipralambarasa. Suro Sarid Upakante Godrume Gaura Tirthe Vasati Sisura Vikunje Bhakti Purvam Vinadaha Jugala Charana Seva Shaksho Lava Saya Ashau Brajo Raso Rusi Kaya Pada Padma Sraye Atro Dhano Jeevan Jovan Raja Sukam Nahini Tamanukchana Naso Param Tejo Gram Kathasa Kalambi Palam Bajo Godrum Kanono Ranji Bidum Bajo Godrum Kanono Ranji Bidum Bajo Godrum Kanono Ranji Bidum Jai Jai Sri Rasa Chidananda Bhakti Mahatma Thakur ki Jai Sadi Abhir Bhakti Tipara Mahamasab ki Jai Anantakari Vishnam Gaur Pimanandi
Tomorrow I can prove how Guru Vaishnava can cheat you. If you like to cheat Guru Vaishnava, you can never do. They are so clever, they can see your heart. They can cheat you. You can say, Maharaj giving, giving keeper to me. Ah, oh, so merciful. He cheat you. 